Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it's Sunday night. I'm a little under the weather this weekend, so didn't feel like doing up my hair, just going hat and headphones, but I wanted to talk about Sephiroth today. He's the last Final Fantasy VII Advent Children character that we can look forward to, and once I covered them all, I feel like I can then start talking about which ones I like the best and all of that before release. So I wanted to get this in this weekend, so we're going to do it. Now, before we get to Sephiroth, I wanted to mention Mother's Day is coming up very soon. So take this as two things. One, a friendly reminder to buy your mother or your wife of a child who's too young to kid get her a present gift. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have a link on my page just to like Mother's Day gift ideas. If you click that link and buy anything on Amazon, it helps me out a lot because that's my affiliate link. So you'll be helping me meet my affiliate goals and helping yourself out by not having a you know, sad mom or sad wife, there you go. So that's out of the way, let's talk about Sephiroth. That's what we're really here for today. Now, he's good. I wanna start by saying like he's 100 cost and everything I've heard is he's worth the 100 cost you're gonna pay for him. His TMR is an accessory with no agility. And man, I feel like we're striking out on agility accessories lately. So here's another non-agility accessory, but it is a haste accessory. It's a self-haste, so you don't get the um, move to of teammate and buff like you get with squalls, but the extra buff that comes with the haste is really nice. Haste Haste and accuracy, hey, you know what? For a TMR buff, you're gonna take that. So if you got a unit that needs haste, 30 more accuracy will help you out. His master ability is acquired AP up 30, single target resist 15, and his dream ability is healing power up 15, debuff effect weakening 15. You're gonna see a lot of debuff effect weakening on this guy and an upgrade to his Inagi skill. Now he does have the fire group master, uh, you know, the, the master ability fire group buff as well. Being a fire unit is an interesting choice, and I feel like fire units will welcome him. He's a katana user with soldier and axe knight sub job, so very limited to slashing type moves. If we look at his stats for just a second, you'll see what his resists look like. Once again, only weak to pierce, and that has been a theme, I feel like, for these Advent Children characters and for a lot of characters in the game recently. If they're weak to one thing, it tends to be pierce. He is very good against slash and decent against the rest, right? Particularly strike with that 15. Uh, his resist to elements, he's going to be hard to slow, hard to paralyze. That's a big one, honestly, for PvP and a little bit hard to frostbite. He does have 70 agility, which is nice, and a 674 attack. That kind of jumps off the page at me a little bit. Uh, 5400 HP is nice. He's a high damage, high HP hard to kill bruiser damage dealer, right? There was a time in War of the Visions where your, especially your units that were like soldiers that had self-sacrifice were like, man, if you can keep this guy alive, he can unload. But if somebody's hitting him, he's gonna die. Nowadays, your damage dealers are hard to kill and do a bunch of damage. Okay, so that's where Sephiroth lives. All right, here we go. Support abilities. So veteran hero that upgrades to hero's charisma. I don't know what this fourth ability does with the upgrade, but I do know that uh, this is insane. Like this, this support ability right here is worth the hundred cost. Reduces damage taken by fifty percent for four times per self. So he starts the fight with a fifty percent four times damage reduction. Yes, that can get knocked off, but that's insane. And then, oh by the way, it comes with forty of both of the penetration he needs defense and slash attack pin and then whatever the heck this is like i said i'm feeling like crap i did not feel like doing any uh you know sleuthing tonight now if you want to run his other new support ability you'll get agility float and jump plus one there's a ton of maps where this is going to be huge think about the maps right now that we have in like pvp and guild wars where there's often this kind of big barrier that's just preventing your units from buffing the way you want them to a uh, support ability like this that gives you that jump plus one with the agility will be clutch right there then i also want to talk about self-sacrifice i have been on the self-sacrifice train since it came out 60 percent attack steroid for a minus three in all of your resists is massively massively worth it so i think that's worth running otherwise you could get an uh, increased attack with decreased AP consumption could be some use there for PVE chaining teams with that AP consumption down. And he does look like he'll be a good chaining unit. Uh, Chivalry of Patience, HP, Elemental Chainers is 40. I think you'll probably mix this first one with this second one or this first one with self-sacrifice most of the time. 
Okay, counter boost. He has a uh, physical reflex. So against physical units, a 15% chance to dodge. That's probably going to be the one you run all of the time. His new main job, his cheat move, 13 AP, short range and straight lines. Uh, he can use it five times and it will absorb the damage that he does. You can see he scales off of attack, 120% attack. His damage does not calculate uh, via any other stat. Then if you do black wing stance, he gains a new skill for four turns. So let's go look at that new skill. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have to like, I'm very clogged up. So let's go look at that new skill. It is another counter move that is a 70% chance to counter slash and strike damage and uh, boom, slap back preemptively at a really nice range for 121% damage. That's pretty OP. And when I was looking at his counter moves, the first time I was looking through his sheet, I was like, you know, just physical reflex on like brand new Sephiroth feels a little weak. Not anymore. Once you put this on there, he is super anti-physical with this added strike and slash counter attack. That, that gives more than that too. He also gets debuff effect weakening 30. He gets critical evade 50 for four turns and reaction block rate 100 for four turns. So he has bonus reaction stuff he can do. And with this buff, he won't be reacted to by other people. Next moving place decrease slash attack by 60 for three turns on the target it's a single target attack but this is a three hitter so a nice chaining move right here for sephiroth with that 165 percent modifier then his group buff okay there's a lot of words here let's work through it aoe resist 25 for allies also for allies dispel haste nice and do 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 uh, 200% chance for auto revive. So he gives himself a re-raise as well. He gives himself AP auto restore 10% for four turns. He gives himself dispel all buffs and dispel haste. He gives himself elemental chain resist 20. It's a lot. It's a lot. So he, this is an amazing buff. You're going to want to cast this every fight. Give you and your group mates AOE resist, debuff remo or re buff removals from your attacks, AP restore, re-raise. That is a ton of things packed into one. And this is another very modern 100 cost move. Okay, shock the sky. Here we go. Reduce physical damage taken the larger attack area size. So I'm not exactly sure what this does. This reads, so let me show you his weapon real quick because his weapon has that like physical damage reduction on it, right? So this is a physical 15% damage reduction in that like squall type honeycomb barrier kind of thing. So that's, he has that on his sword, but it also says that right here on this move. I'm guessing that this targets, it either targets himself and gives himself some more of that, or it removes it for the enemy. I'm just really not 100% sure, um, or, it hits different based on how close you are to the center. Hey, somebody from JP can go ahead and comment on that. Another important part of this, though, is 40 defense pin for three turns. With this move right here, he will be at 80 defense penetration. It also hits hard and hits in a diamond shape. You love to see it. It upgrades to also dispel courage for the target and absorb 50% of the damage dealt. So absolutely insane move right there for PVP. Then Inagami, his upgraded skill is an AOE resist debuff 60. Now this is a shorter range attack, but it does hit in a nice square. It is also upgraded to be 100% hit chance. So he has that in his main kit. Stacked main kit for DPS dealer. He's going to pop off and do a lot of damage. Be hard to kill. Okay. Now, if you want to do the returning hero sub job, you do get a berserk attack at 165 mod. It's decent range with a small AOE, probably more of a manual thing. And then eternal nightmare, a self heal. If you run soldier, well, previously I just said you run soldier to get access to the 100% hit chance move, but he has one in his main job. So do you run axe knight? Um, I don't know. Probably not because what are you really getting here, except potentially Sickle Sweep being a huge modifier if you've already taken a bunch of damage. So probably just run the Axe Knight for that move. Okay, then his Limit Break decreases all elemental resist by 20% for targets in a huge AOE at really long range, 240% modifier, and does another thing. Okay, well, again, if you know what that other thing is, please do let us know. That's Sephiroth's kit. He does also come with this weapon. So you get 185 attack on the weapon or 20 accuracy or 17 crit, but you're sacrificing a bunch of attack. I think you go with the attack version here. Sephiroth himself will get slash attack 15. He'll get decreased AP consumption 15 and that, uh, you know, physical damage larger the attack area size barrier. It will also give slash attack resist pin 20 for anyone using it. That will put him at 60. So if there was one thing I would say that maybe the Sephiroth 
Sephiroth unit was lacking, he could be lacking in that uh, slash attack resist pin. He's only going to be at 60 based on what he could give himself. So that's something to consider. Um, I will say, I think we'll start the Advent Children collab in about 10 days when these packs go away. So just, I'm just keeping my eye on that countdown. I think these will be replaced by the Advent Children packs, which gives me next week to collect another whale purchase bonus here, and then hopefully start collecting some Advent Children stuff. My Viziors tapped. I don't know what Advent Children is going to look like for me. The budget is a little tight. Is a little tight this month. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please use that Amazon link. Again, I'll throw this on the screen. Hook your wives and mothers up, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.